What's up everyone? As many of you may know, I am an IT support specialist. But how did I land over a $50,000 a year job with no degree, no certificates, and no prior work experience? We're gonna talk about that and more coming up. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to IT Career Skills, where we give you advice and insight on how to grow your career in the IT field. My name's Dakota and today I want to tell you how I landed a over $50,000 a year job with no degree, no certificates, and no prior work experience in the IT field. Now if you guys have any questions at any point during the video, make sure and drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. With that said, let's dive right on in. So I've always had a huge interest in IT. As far back as I can remember, I was always taking apart electronics, trying to figure out how they work. My very first words as a kid were, what it do? So I was always just destroying stuff, trying to figure out how each little electronic works and stuff like that. In high school, I actually took electronics and I also took a CCNA program. Yes, my high school had a CCNA class where you take the class and at the end of the uh, course, you would take your CCNA exam. If you passed, you would have your CCNA certification. And back then, if you had your CCNA certification, you were pretty much guaranteed to be able to land a job in the field. But after high school, I kind of lost my way. Um, you know, I, I was more worried about making money and, you know, having fun. And then I, I met my wonderful wife and we had kids kids and then I started worrying more about putting food on the table and making sure I had a good steady job and you know to be honest with you I, I had some great jobs that made some great money I mean my last job I was a bulldozer operator I was making over $70,000 a year yeah I took a $20,000 a year pay cut to pursue my dreams of being in the IT field but I knew if I took that pay cut and I got that initial job before long I would be back up to making what I was making and then I'd be making more than I was even making in that career field. So once I decided I was ready for a career change, that I was ready to do something that I've always enjoyed, that I've always wanted to do, how did I make the career change? Well, to be honest with you, I hit YouTube. I started watching some YouTube videos and trying to get some knowledge about making the career change through the IT field. And that's when I stumbled upon Zach's videos. Yes, Zach Hill from IT Career Questions. You know, he was doing videos that were talking about you know, how to prepare yourself for an interview in the IT field and what certifications you should get. And that really got me motivated. And that really got me thinking, man, this is something I could do. This is something achievable. So right then and there, I started studying for my A-plus certification. I signed up for CBT Nuggets. If you guys don't know what CBT Nuggets is, it is an amazing online e-learning platform. I highly recommend you guys go check them out. But anyways, I started studying for for my A-plus certification because everyone recommended that you have your at least your A-plus certification to get into the field. So I started studying, but I didn't want to wait till I went out and got my certification. So another thing I started doing right away is I started professional networking. So I'd go out to these meetups with other IT professionals, people already working in the field. And I'd just go out and talk to them. I wouldn't drill them and tell them like, oh, I'm trying to get into this job. No, I'd have a conversation with them. I'd pick their brains and see what they're looking for. If, if their company is hiring, I'd try to see what they are looking for in the candidate, what certifications I should be studying, and just have an open conversation and really start networking with people because the IT field very much so can be who you know not necessarily what you know so I started I, I, I started attending more and more networking meetups and not just in my hometown no I drove like two and a half hours away to some of these networking meetups just because they were in a more densely populated IT area that I might have a better chance of landing a job and you know another thing I started doing is I started brushing up my resume and every time I'd apply for a job I would custom tailor my resume for that job and yes I know that's very time consuming and it's a very long process but when you custom tailor that resume me for that job you're applying for you're just that much likely to obtain a job in that position and the very last bit of advice I have for you guys is apply for any job that you think you're capable of doing whether or not you meet all their qualifications because nine out of ten times their qualifications is more of a wish list than what they're actually requiring you to have for that position and you never know you might be the most qualified applicant that applied for that job that is one thing that I think that helped me got my position I was the most qualified applicant for that position 
So go out there guys and apply for any job that you think you're capable of doing. Don't lie about your skills. Make sure you're honest and open about what skill set you have, but apply for everything guys, because the worst that's gonna happen is they're gonna tell you no. So hey guys, that's it for today. But if you know someone trying to enter the IT field, make sure you share this video with them and share it out on the social media, because it was a video just like this one that gave me the courage to actually go out there and try to make a career change. And you know what? I am so thankful for it because now I am working my dream job. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you receive notifications when we release new videos. I try to do a CCNA study group every single month for you guys to help develop your skills. And also I try to do an Ask Me Anything where you guys can tune in, ask any questions you have about the IT field and I hopefully can answer them for you. Well, until next time, take it easy.